Here's an example on how to set up graphics within Photoshop for export into Command Fusion's GUI designer. Here's a typical page for a mixer, and this is what I used in the example. Now, if you notice how it's set up in the layers palette, everything is set up so that it can be broken down into subgroups. For instance, let's look at the background and logo folder. If we turn it off, you'll notice it completely turns off the aluminum background and the panel. So let's do this. I'm going to turn off all of the input channels so you can see just the background. Now what I have here to make up this particular background and logo and the LCD and main selectors are the parts that I'm going to need within Command Fusion. So if we expand the LCD and device info folder, I have some text files that are dynamic, meaning I can change the text to anything I like at any time. And also, I have the LCD on and main LCD off. So let's turn off all the text files. And what I like to do is I'll draw the LCD on and the LCD off. Reason being is maybe when the user first connects to the Aspen device, they'll see the LCD off. Once a connection is made, the LCD will turn on, which is a good indicator. And at that point, within Command Fusion, when it queries the info from the Aspen device, it will populate that LCD with useful information. So that's how I set those particular elements up. I'll show you how to export them in just a moment. So let's turn that off. Let's also turn off the main selectors. Now what we're left with is the background and logo. Now I'm going to expand the background and logo folder and if we turn those elements off we have our main aluminum background. Then we have our main Aspen panel and I decided to change the logo, so I updated the logo. And it sits on its own layer as well. Now if we add the LCD, LCD and device info, and we add the main selectors, we have a nice template for the background that will exist for all of the panels, for the inputs, the matrix, the outputs, and the live mode. And I'll show you why here in a second. Now let's take a look at main selectors. Now what we can do here is notice all the buttons look the same. We have a gray version and a red version, but other than that it's the exact same button. So I have text over those particular buttons. And what we can do is if we export just the gray version of the button, which is off, and just the red version of the button, and then all of this text combined, setup, inputs, matrix, outputs, live, and start, all we have are three files that we have to deal with. Instead of having to do an inputs on button and an inputs off button, matrix on, matrix off, so on and so forth. That allows us to optimize the space that we take up in the iPad. Now what we can do is if we create one channel, here we have all the elements that we need. Slider knob, slider track, the input channel number, the LCD, mute, phantom power, phase invert. If we were to expand that one channel, you'll notice that we have all the little pieces that make up that particular channel. Now here for sample value gain, once again this will be provided in real time from the Aspen device to Command Fusion, but this gives me an idea of what it looks like and, and how I envision it to be in Command Fusion, which we'll create when we get there. Now here's the great thing. Once this channel is created within Command Fusion, what we can do is simply select all of the pieces, copy it and paste, and we get all of the other channels. The only thing that's different is the input channel number. So I'll export input 1, input 2, input 3, and input 4. And we can do them as one file, or we can do them independently and uh, we can create this page or let's call it a sub page that lives within the main page so if we were to turn off all of the other pieces imagine this as just a sub page this translucent background with just the elements I want that will sit on top of our main page now what that allows me to do is I can you reuse this main page without having to redraw it every time and turn on different elements within this area that I want to use to uh, display controls. So imagine now I turn on the conference table and now if someone were to press live this is what would come up. 
So what this gives me is not only the ability to optimize my space, but it gives me scalability because it, in the future, if I decide that I need to have or the client decides they need to have more options, we can change this aspect of it, the inputs, matrix, and outputs, and maybe add some more area. And we can always add more subpages to do different types of things within this particular area. Okay, so next, let's see how we actually export these graphics now that you have an idea of how to maybe set these things up for your purposes.